YouTube. Additional content. Twitch. And prioritizing mental health. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when they fell out of balance. Only Seabed, master of getting all shit done, could put balance back. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. Hello, everybody. We are here today with the very first episode, asterisk, of Pokemon Singing Sapphire Nuzlocke. If you guys are excited, you know, do that thing. You know what to do on that like button down below. If you guys don't have any idea what this is, um, I'm going to leave a link to a video that was previously uploaded probably about two months ago at this point, which was the first episode of this. Um, unfortunately, life got a little bit hectic. Uh, There's a little bit of time off. And uh, we, we, we was decided let's let's start let's start the whole thing over. So here we are. Hello, hi. We're in Little Root Town. We're playing through Pokemon Singing Sapphire. It's a Nuzlocke. It's a Dryano hack. It's gonna be really hard. It's gonna be really fun. And I look forward to experiencing this adventure with you guys. We can expect um we can expect the same memes if not better. We can expect all the good laughs and of course all the good conversation to be had down below. So if you this cable's all over my arm. I don't even know what's going on. If you at home are very excited, please leave a like on this video to let me know that this is what you guys are excited about. Because I'm excited to be back in the booth uh, recording a Let's Play, quite frankly. It has been two months since I've sat down to record a Let's Play. And I am absolutely stoked. Oh, hello. And you are? Oh, you're Seabed, our new next door neighbor. Welcome. We have a daughter about the same age as you. She's been so excited about joining the Candy Bar Sales Program. She should be in her room upstairs. I hope you'll go and introduce yourself. That's right. We're still selling candy bars. We're still selling them with Harold. If you, if someone's new and they're like, what is, what is what is a Harold? What is this guy doing selling candy bars? You should probably, like, I hate to say there was a prequel to this series, but go watch the first couple episodes of the series because I promise you, you'll have some good laughs and then be on board for what's about to happen because we're just, we're just, we're doing it live. Huh? Like, who are you? She has to like meditate. She's like, hmm, don't, don't tell me you are, hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, you must be Seabed. Like, you're moving us today, huh? Well, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I actually have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon like all over the world. And then when Dad, oh, I mean, Professor Birch told me about you moving here, Seabed. Well, I was hoping you could teach me how to be a candy bar salesman too. But that's just silly, isn't it? I've just met you, right, Seabed? There's so much to learn about selling candy bars. So what am I talking about? <laughs> Golly gee willikers. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to be going out to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Seabed, I'll see you later. Great, I'm just going to rummage through your room and steal all your belongings. Thank you. All right, let's head out. We're th this is it, man. This is it. I'm so excited. There's a video I posted um, a few, a few, probably a, a little over a week ago at this point. If you guys didn't give it, give it a shot. Um, it's, it's it's a lengthy one. If you like the sound of my voice, you'll enjoy that video. <laughs> if you like podcasts, you'll enjoy that video. Because frankly, there was a lot of information to go over. Um, and I, I certainly would recommend talking about it. I'll kind of do a few little bullet points while we're playing through this. Uh, hello, you over there. Please help me out. In my bag, there are some Pokeballs. You guys already know. 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 Harold, you guys already know, man. It's coming. He's coming back. I was hoping it was gonna be a shiny Poochiana, man. I tell you what. <gasps> no, no, man. Wouldn't that be crazy? If we just restart it and like all of a sudden Harold's shiny. That. <laughs> oh, and we crit Harold's back. He crit. He crit that dog first turn. Can I pet that dog? He pet that dog first turn. There was a few bullet points talking about it. What's been going on with life, man? And frankly, I'm just excited to be getting back into things. Um, since last we spoke, if you are exclusively a Let's Play viewer, um, I have a brand new computer. I ended up buying a new computer. I've got four monitors now. The whole office has been crazy. Um, the work has been crazy. We raised thirteen and a half thousand dollars for charity last month. Um, and I opened a Patreon. Yes, uh, there, there's so much that's happened in like the last few months. Uh, it was crazy. We did so many charity streams on, on Twitch during the month, and we did so many, uh, so many exciting things. I streamed live building a PC. It was fantastic. Thirteen and a half thousand dollars to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Um, we did that, 
And then uh, I, I launched a Patreon this month. So if you guys are like, wow, I really can't get enough of you. Um, there's actually a playthrough starting. It should be in a perfect world where I'm able to do absolutely everything I set my mind out to. Episode one should be live over there on Patreon. It's free to view for everybody. Um, all part ones will be will be free to, to for everybody to check out. And then, of course, um, there are paid tiers afterwards that have any rare from $3 to $40. And um, each of them have their own benefits and things like that. And you'll be able to watch the remainder of the playthroughs. Our first playthrough is actually going to be Super Mario Sunshine played on hardware, which I am super stoked about. I've got like a P like, oh my gosh, just the upgrades that have gone on have been crazy. Here's Harold, our Mudkip, our baby boy. Harold, he is... Um, he is naive and strongly defiant. He's, you don't want chocolate. You are getting chocolate today. That is a plus speed and minus special defense nature. It looks like so we got to watch out for those grass types. But other than that, I'm not too concerned about my lack of a special defense stat, because as long as I, as long as my, as long as my offensive nature, as long as Harold can go out there and sell candy bars with a, with a fistful of iron and chocolate, then frankly, we're in a good spot, but I I'm excited to play through. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine. There've been just a lot of a lot of talks about different content and stuff that's going on. Um, check out the Twitch, man. All month we're doing so many crazy things. Just as a result, following the charity stream, we're getting ready to this Saturday. Actually, uh, you guys are watching this Wednesday. This Saturday, we are getting ready to attempt. I've never played Black Two and White Two before, and we are going to attempt to beat White Two using only a Bidoof. I don't know if that's possible, considering I've never played it. But we're gonna give it our best shot. And if it doesn't work, then, well, we get a lot of uh, we get a lot of Bidoof memes out of it, quite frankly. And then um, we've got Super Smash Brothers matches against, all, uh, you know, everybody and part of Team Seabed on Sunday. Just it, it, there's so much going on. And I um, speak. It's like a message. It's like this Bidoof just came down from the sky and said, do it, do it. But it's OK, because this Bidoof is going to come out of the sky and then it's going to get water gunned. It's going to regret coming down from the sky. Because now it's going to get drenched by Harold. I'm so excited. I really hope we can get another Phantom. Because if there is one... Hello? Am I... But I really have no idea what just happened in-game. But um, I ended up... My controller stopped working. So I thought I was... I, there was maybe a stuck button. And I tried to hit buttons. And apparently one of those buttons reset the entire like configuration of the game. So we had to restart. So here we still have Harold level 6. He's actually, um, he's actually, I, I think it was modest. Let me double check this. Um, it, it was, it was, uh, he was, he had a different, he had a different nature and we actually got hidden ability. So we have damp Herald, which is great because if we, if, we, if somebody goes boom, we, we, we're not affected. Seriously, this is crazy. I, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. Here we go. Damp Herald. Damp Harold. He's 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 <laughs> Harold's damp. He's got he's mild and has good perseverance. He doesn't care that his candy's soggy. He's gonna sell it to you anyway. <laughs> okay, so we're back here now. Um now that we have a mild Harold, which isn't the best because ideally, like I would have much preferred naive to have some form of a uh I would like 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 you want a defensive Pokemon. I don't want like a negative defense nature. That's not going to go well at all. Like the trade off there because my controller decided to bug out on me for some reason is that now we have hidden ability, which is great. I think it's hidden ability. Somebody can correct me, but we do have hidden ability now, which helps us out. Um, unfortunately, we have a negative defense nature, so we're going to get we're not going to like physical attacks as much anymore. So that's fine. Uh, we're gonna yeah, I save now. So and I and I think I removed whatever hot key it was that decided to just reset the game. So we're just gonna keep making our way downtown and continue on here. And we can I, I don't know if we're gonna try to get the same encounters as we did last time. I do know I, I want to try to I can't get away. And now because I'm yeah, yeah, because I'm mild, I'm just gonna not take any of these hits. We're off to a fantastic start. A fantastic start, but we do get a we do get a, po a positive special attack nature, so that means that our water guns eventually, when we learn surf, muddy water, mud shot, things like that, are going to be coming off a little bit harder, which is always great. You know, ideally you want the 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 plus physical attack nature Swampert, uh, not the not the negative defense nature or the uh, positive special. You know, it, it it we're getting way too in depth to the competitive stuff that I don't know if you guys will. Uh, enjoy quite frankly but if you do oh, and look at speaking of learning special moves we learn mud slap uh, speaking of actually competitive stuff 
the if you guys are I'm, I'm again speaking to my let's play exclusive viewers if you guys don't know much about competitive content or you're looking for a good time to get into it every saturday we've been uploading our ncp nimbus season 3 draft league battles in sword and shield and the reason i bring that up is because we had a really rough start to the season so if you signed off on those after the first couple weeks uh we made some changes and we bounced back we're actually in playoffs now and moving forward we are uh, actually not this saturday but next saturday we will have our first battle in Sword and Shield playoffs, which is fantastic. And to celebrate, there's actually Detroit Ceilings merchandise that's been available for a while. But there is a discount code, 10% off. You can use code PLAYOFF to save 10% for, I believe, the next week and a half. Um, really awesome that we're able to do stuff like that. So if you guys want to pick one up and support the channel and get your merch ready. So yeah, we also have we have pillows as well. We have pillows as well. Just saying. But just, just my two cents that is available there. If you guys are so interested, and if not, uh, then we're gonna keep we're gonna keep banging through singing Sapphire together, and hopefully, I'm just gonna mudslap this tree to Oh, Lear, stop! I'm a mild, I'm a mi Harold Harold Harold's mild. He doesn't need this, and you're probably okay. We're just gonna lower that accuracy. That's right. That's right. That's what we're gonna do there. That's what we're gonna do there. And then is it? If, mm, let's see how much water gun's doing. Oh, this is gonna okay. Okay, that actually doesn't do too much. That doesn't do too much of a turn either. Never mind. Let's growl. We're going to play this. The, the Nuzlocke hasn't started. We don't have Pokeballs just yet, so that's fine. But we're going to, I'm going to play it like it matters. I'm going to play every battle leading up to this like it matters. And I'm going to try to mudslap to lower your accuracy one more. Yes, Harold's so nimble. He's dancing around on his candy bar feet. Perfect. Okay, let's, I'm going to, tackle. Tackle's probably going to do more. Tackle's probably going to, oh yeah, okay. We're good. We're good. Solid sold by Harold Man. And we're just going to keep... Okay, we're keeping Mud Slap because we're a mild... Because we're a mild Mudkip. We need to make sure that we just keep Mud Slap on at all times. So that way we just dodge those moves. We are going to out-hack the, 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 the difficulty of this game. And Harold, we're level 8. Let's go. Atta boy, Harold. I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Wow, that's great, Seabad. You're like pretty good. I'm aware. I'm aware. I am... The region's best candy bar salesman, along with my friend Harold. It was a good battle. Thanks. Let me heal up both our parties real quick. I, all I may, all I have is Harold. You, we don't have parties. We have, we don't have parties. We have, what do we have? We have, we have a, we have, we have a quarantine party. Just one, one person. You know, we're partying over here in quarantine. I mean, you just got that Pokemon. You've already got that strong of a bond. I bet you could probably befriend any kind of Pokemon you meet. Well, I guess I better head back to the lab. What about me? Hey, come back. Come back. So I hear you beat May on your first try. That's amazing. May's been helping with my research for a long time, so she has a pretty long history as a trainer already. Mm-hmm. I think that settles it. See, but I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. Why, thank you, sir. I'm glad we just met and you're already giving me expensive equipment. That Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My girl May takes hers with her everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, she comes to seek me out wherever I am in the field and show me. The Pokemon and people you will meet and the great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill in your Pokedex. I'd love it if your world seemed wider than ever. Though, I'd love it even more if you came back from time to time and gave me a percentage of your candy bar sales. Ugh, I'm getting the itch to go out and sell candy again. Oh, wow, Seabad. Now you've got, like, a Pokedex, too? Like, that's, like, just, like, 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 like me. Then here, I'll, like, give you something, too. Some Pokeballs that you can use to catch... <laughs> Some Pokeballs that you can use to catch wild Pokemon. Nuzlocke has started... Everybody, brace yourselves. If you catch a Pokemon in the wild and battle together with it for a while, it'll, like, grow stronger for you. Take that as a bit of advice from a more experienced trainer like me. I'm gonna get ready to head out from Little Root soon myself. I can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon I'm gonna meet. Let's both do our best on our journey, Seabed. All right, let's go. I think we have to talk to Mom. We do have to talk to Mom. More than likely. Right? Ma! Hey, Ma! Ma, the bucket! You feeling okay, Seabed? You look a little tired. I think you should rest a bit. Okay. I thought this... Oh, and I, I think once we run away, that's when she starts to yell at us. And she's just like, wait, I know you just rested at home, but come back. <laughs> wait, I know you just rested at home, but come back. Seabed, Seabed, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from the Professor? How nice. You are your father's child, all right. You look good together with a Pokemon. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But don't push yourself too hard. If anything happens, you can always come home, honey. Thanks, Mom. I'm glad to hear that. And I'm glad you're just going to stare at me as I walk away now. Thank you. 
never to return. <laughs> All right, well, we do. See, bad. Who else wants me? I'm trying to go on an adventure. This is from my dad. He said he forgot to give it to you before. Oh, the Pokemon Have Plus. There we go. The app I just added to your Pokemon Have Plus is called the DexNav. I can tell you lots about the Pokemon living in each area and that kind of stuff. It's a handy app to have if you're trying to catch lots of different Pokemon. All right, like, I guess it's time I use the DexNav to do some more Pokemon catching myself. Seabad, you should, like, use those Pokeballs I gave you earlier to do a bit of catching, too. Perfect. All right. So, our first encounter in the Sinking Sapphire Nuzlocke reboot expansion to Boogaloo is going to be a... No. No. I know that cry literally anywhere. Oh, no. Get the Bidoof counter ready, ladies and gentlemen. Get it ready. We're bringing it back. We are bringing it back. All right. Let me... Can I just toss Pokemon? I feel like I should be able to. It's like Route 1. You're a Bidoof. Can't believe we have a Bidoof. Can't believe we have a Bidoof. Like, it only... Like, it only makes sense because of the solo run. It only makes sense. We've got that solo run on Saturday. Come hang out on Twitch. We're going to play White 2 with only a Bidoof. Give a nickname to the Bidoof you caught. Yes. Yes, I will. I'm going to nickname this Bidoof Judy. Because you guys are like, whoa, you came to that. You came to that name really quickly. Who are you? What have you done with Chase? Because we are doing the Bidoof White 2 solo run as a result of raising X amount of dollars, I don't even remember which which amount that was for the solo run, but we did that for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Jude, Judy, the Bidoof, Big Booty Judy, the Bidoof. That's a really horrible way to analogize to an analogize things, analyze things. But here we go. We've got we've got. We're just gonna call her Big Judy. We got Big Judy on the team. We're looking good, and now we got our static encounter up here of the Pucciano. See that right there? There's a tail sticking out. There's a Pokemon hiding right there. It looks purple on my screen. I don't know if in post-production it's going to look purple, but it definitely looks purple. All right. We need to... Now, I don't know if I need to... Give me one sec. And after what feels like forever trying to get this to work, we can now creep. So now, I'm going to sneak up on this Pokemon which is no longer here, and now I'm upset. Wow. Oh my goodness. I had to save and restart, and now I don't even get the... I don't even get Boofiana. Oh man, what a, what a rocky start, man. What a rocky start. It's okay. It's okay. We've got Harold. We've got Judy. Boofiana will live on. And if you guys don't know about Boofiana, just just go go, go watch the precursor. The, pre, the, pre, the prequel to Sinking Sapphire, otherwise known as Sinking Sapphire. But we have our encounter down there. Let us go grab our encounter up here on Route 103. With any luck, it'll be a Pugiana. But without any luck, it's not going to be anything great. So we're going to, I'm going to look you guys dead in the eyes and hopefully this encounter comes up on screen and it's something good. But what do we get? What do we get? Ooh, I'll take that. I will take that. I love me some Nido Queen. Let's go. Get a nice poison type. I mean, oh, and of course, you see? This is exactly what's going to happen. We're going to get poisoned at every turn now because this is what we have come to know and love. It's pain. That is all we know is pain. Let's get... And now we have and now we have pain the Nidoran female. If, we, if this catch is on the first try, which I'm going to hope it does. We already have such a different team. I love it. I love it so much. This is my favorite part about Nuzlocke, especially on these ROM hacks because we never know what we're going to get. And I'm excited that we never know what we're going to get and now we get this Nidoran female as well. All right, uh, give this, yeah, we're going to call you, um, I'm going to call you Conan. Because I just, I, I, I uh, oh, this world shall know pain. And if you guys aren't a, a, a incredible, I was going to say something else, but if you guys aren't an incredibly big Naruto fan like me, um, the, the, the phrasing from that comes from uh, one of the main antagonists in the, uh, in the series. We have another... We have Hasty, so we have a really fast Nidoran here, which still can't take a hit. But we do have Rivalry, so we are doing more damage to other female Pokemon, but we are not doing dam as much damage to male Pokemon. So, it is something to keep in mind um, with our ability. 
We do get one more encounter over here. Um, there's been a lot of background stuff going on this episode, so I don't know how long this first episode is going to be, but we're probably going to grab one more encounter over here to the left, and then we are going to uh, call it there. So let's see what we have here. Um, before we call, though, I, I do want to thank you guys seriously for continuing to support the content on the channel. Um, it's been it's been absolutely crazy um, just the past few months and just everything that's been going on on Twitch, on, on, on YouTube, on, on both YouTube channels. Seabat at Gaming is back. Um, I hope you guys are excited for that. If you guys haven't seen any of those videos, feel free to go check it out. And then, um, you know, as well, I'm excited for uh, anybody who wants to join us over on Patreon to, uh, super, for starting Super Mario Sunshine. So um, you guys have always been super, super awesome. And now we have a Tim Pool. So we've got a really weird lineup of Pokemon right here, but we do get a Tim Pool on the team now. We're going to be really set for this first gym. Let me just say that. We're going to be super set for this first gym. But anything, uh, well, well, technically we'll have a, a few ground types on the team for the third gym. So we'll be really set for a few gyms and then kind of have to see where it goes from there. But I, I'm super thankful that, that I have such an incredible fan base in you guys that um, just continue to support out whatever I do and, and whatever whatever is whatever is on the channel. So thank you in advance for that. Um, we're going to get the last Pokemon here on the team. Of course, I definitely, like I said, if you guys are new, feel free to check out the Patreon. The link is in the description for some more content. If you guys uh, want to check out just general gaming content and not the Patreon stuff, we do have Seabat Gaming. That's our second channel down below as well. And then we also, I'm not learning Foresight. I'm not learning Foresight. You can't make me. Um, and then, of course, we've got the Twitch. And then if, if you guys, uh, you know, if uh, talking about the Draft League stuff earlier, definitely go check out last week's battle. It was a hell of a match. It locked in our playoff spot. I sincerely think you guys should go watch that. It was a fantastic match. Played out of our minds. So I'm sure you guys will like that. Now that I, what do I name, what do I nickname this Tim Pole? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking about all this. I'm like, what do I, what do I name you? Um, ooh, what do I name a Tim Pole? I'm going to call you, I'm going to call you, I'm going to call you Tiffany with a Y. Why not? Why not? There's Tiffany with a Y. Two Ys. <laughs> Tiffany with a Y. Two Ys technically. Let's check out. Let's check out Tiffany really quickly. <laughs> Tiffany's got Swift Swim, a neutral nature Pokemon. My goodness. Uh, neutral nature, bashful, capable of taking hits. So uh, you love to see it. Let's go heal up and we're going to wrap up everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I, I've, I, I'm super stoked to be back in the driver's seat with, with this series and just getting, getting everything back on track with you two, man. I, I, I really... I really, really am. I love making these videos for you guys, and I hope I got. Hope I hope I made you guys smile at least once. If I did, you know, show some love on the like button, please. It shows that you guys are enjoying this content. And then, uh, of course, if you guys are new, you guys don't want to miss out. This is going to be uploaded uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on the channel. All that being said, I want to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'll see you on the next video. Later.